Mother Letter, number 20. Understanding loneliness and ways to overcome it. From an infant to the oldest adults, everyone has experienced loneliness to some degree in different situations. We all know that it is a mental factor or a negative feeling. It becomes a problem when it plants itself within us and then quickly spread like a wildfire, dragging us down emotionally. What is loneliness? It is a feeling of rejection, being left out and cut off, neglected, confused and lost. Let us focus on some situations that lead to loneliness. It can start at home when parents are too busy and have no time to tend to the children's needs. They feel rejected by the family or that they are not treated equally. Then in the school, children who are mentally or physically disabled or those who are outstanding face peer group rejection. When someone falls in love and finds his or her love is not returned, personal rejection is the result. So loneliness occurs when the sense bases collect these situations and, and feed the mind. We think the problem is outside in the world and forget that the problem is really within us, one's own mind and mind moment. It is then that negative emotions like anger and revenge start to take root. Why is it a problem? Some people, when they are faced with such situations, can get over them while others get lost in them. When such an individual faces isolation, that person gets more and more confused. And instead of looking inside and understanding the truth, continues to be in a state of denial and persists to foster those emotions and behaviors habitually. Sometimes they build a wall of guilt and cannot see the mistake. They even look for freedom through unwholesome activities such as alcohol, drugs, gangs, robbery, or even murder and suicide. Even during Lord Buddha's time, we can see how great people like Angulimala was misled to become a murderer. Angulimala wanted to kill a thousand innocent people in order to fulfill a promise to his teacher. When he was visited by Lord Buddha, he had already killed 999 people and was looking for the last one to complete his promise to his teacher. When he saw Lord Buddha walking down this road alone, he thought that he was an easy target and came running behind him, yelling him to stop. Lord Buddha answered calmly and gradually tamed him till he saw his own erroneous ways and decided to correct himself. It is worthwhile to see how this conversion took place. Lord Buddha allowed him to see his own mistakes through his questions and calm behavior instead of reprimanding Angulimala. He handled the situation gently and carefully and thoroughly. What such a person really needs is acceptance, confidence, and someone who would show them the way out of the horrible tangle. Another story is that of Patachara. Patachara was born to a very rich family, yet followed her heart and went with a very poor young lover against her parents' wishes. When Patachara was pregnant with her second child, she wanted to visit her parents. On her way, she met with a string of tragedies. 
first. Her husband was bitten by a venomous snake and died. And then her two-year-old and thereafter the newborn met with their deaths. When she arrived at Sravasti, where her parents lived, she found that her parents and her brother had died and the bodies were just being burned. It was just too much to bear for poor Patrachara, and she went crazy. When she came to Lord Buddha, he talked calmly to her and said, Sister, come back to your senses. These few words said so very gently calmed her down and brought her back to her normal self. Compassion always makes one realize one's destructive behavior. Another story is that of Kisa Gotami, who could not bear the sorrow of losing her only child when he was still a baby. Kisa Gotami was in denial and went from one doctor to another, asking for help to cure her now dead child. She could not accept that her son was dead and insisted that he was only sick and can be cured. <clears throat> when she came to Lord Buddha, he did not tell her that the child was dead, as so many had done before. Instead, he gave her a task so that the realization will come to her. Lord Buddha said that he can cure the child if she can bring a few mustard seeds from a household where there has been no death. Kisa Gotim was happy and went from door to door looking for a household that had not faced death. She went for miles carrying the dead body with her till she eventually realized that her search was in vain. That death happens to everyone and that her child is dead. She got rid of the body and went to Lord Buddha and became a disciple and eventually attained that answer. From these three instances, what do we learn? We learn that it is important to believe in oneself and to be compassionate towards oneself. To understand that this terrible situation one is facing is not personal, but is common to all humans. When facing difficult switch, Situations do not retaliate with anger. Instead, embrace the negative emotions and build up compassion. Be always ready with forgiveness within oneself, towards oneself. These strategies help to develop feelings of peacefulness when one is lonely. May I be free from anger. May I be free from ill will. May I be free from memory, uh, mental and physical suffering. May I look after myself and live happily. Mitta Bhavana.